Hey boys and girls, it's tis I. I got a nice view here, getting this other side of this hillside off. That's the uh, that's the bottom where I made the videos, like on the other side of that, over by them pines, if you can see them. But this is that bottom of cherry down in there that you know I didn't hit anywhere near as hard. And then the cut line over there, it's more of a clear cut. And then uh, same thing goes here, like over there on that hill. It's, Pretty thick, and here it's thinner because it's just mostly burnt junk. There's a few logs, the rest of it's junk. Anyway, ain't that a nice view out through there? Pretty, huh? So, I got a tram road right there we built, so I'm trying to lay this stuff out to take to get it. It's uh, running the Timberjack 460D, which basically is the, basically a 648 John Deere, full arch. But, uh, running that today. They fixed the leak on it. I think we got an issue with the pump. Um, the line that was replaced, Marv just uh, actually has replaced it a couple of times. It keeps uh, blowing at the crimp. And we mic the crimp. The crimp is good. So, I don't know. I think I got a pressure issue there with that pump. So, He's going to get specs on that. I'm going to put a gauge on it and see what's going on. So anyway, I shoveled this stuff down this hill. It's pretty steep, actually. So I am going to uh, shovel it over here where we take and get at it. And, uh, take her out and get ahead of so anyway, I've had an interesting morning. I was just going to go make a video here a while ago, probably an hour or so ago. And I got a call <laughs> from all people. I got a call from the Pennsylvania State Police. And, uh, I got this old guy, miserable old codger over in uh, Reynoldsville on that other piece we're doing, claiming that we're trespassing coming out one of the roads. There's two roads. There's a road up on the flat up on top. Now, mind you, the forester took me in that way and showed me this is one way in and out, and then I'll show you the other way in and out, which is fine. So, I bonded it both ways with the township. Now, the township never said anything about this right away not being a right away. Um, and the forester never said anything about it. So, I guess, you know, we assumed it was a right away. Now, if you look on uh, Onyx, our satellite image, it's showing you that it's still a township road. In other words, where this, where we bonded it ends and it goes into the woods. Or basically, it's an old strip cut, an old line cut. Uh, that it was a basically like an abandoned township road, which would still be a right-of-way. So I had no idea, no idea at all, and whatever. And that's not, that's not any excuse either. I know ignorance is no excuse, blah, blah, I understand that. And I agree with that, I, I uh, but it was certainly not an intentional trespass. We're talking about a, maybe 150 feet, 200 feet, something like that. Maybe a couple hundred yards, maybe 150 yards. So that would be 500 feet. I don't even think it's that because it can't be because I, I when I looked at that, it needed a couple loads of uh, shale, right? It needed like a couple loads of shale stone put in it. So how far would that be? Maybe 200 feet, 250 feet. I'm not sure. I'm not doing that job. But it's not a long distance. And supposedly this guy's property comes in in corners and this cuts through the corn. Well, I'm not sure about that because Ryan went up did some video and, and the guy's posters are like 40 feet below the road, and there was an old township road, okay? Uh, the, the old original roadbed, it shows it down on him, but somebody put a new roadbed in, and I don't think it's on him, but it might be, whatever. Like I said, it was an accidental thing. If, it, you know, so, if the guy wants to make a big legal issue about it, you really can't, because there was no posters, there was no, I didn't, we didn't know when they trespassed. So he went and I made him an offer this morning. I said, look, I said, you know, he says, well, he says, 
this has been going on for how long you been vlogging now this has been going on for a month and nobody contacted me well the dude's house you literally got to go out to the end of this road called Irish Mary Road you guys can look it up on Saturday if you want to um, Irish Mary Road you take a left and go down the state road and his house is right there I mean the farm is there's no way he couldn't know that we weren't going by there with trucks unless he's sleeping you know what I mean it, it, it's been we've been in here for almost a month oh, actually a month it was Christmas when we went in there so and then there's no signs like he just ran up put a cable up threatened not to let my kid out Saturday afternoon put a cable up and with a sign on it well that wasn't there until Saturday and we haven't used it so anyway this morning Ryan went up there to take a video and just see what was going on you know and the guy calls the cops on us friggin' petty. But anyway, I made him an offer this morning. I said, look, I said, I'll give you a thousand dollars for a right of way and I'll get, I'll get a couple load of stone, fix it up. My dozer's right there. I'll fix it up for you. You know, I'll put it in writing. I'll give you a hand, a, a chain of a check. You know. Well, I'll think about it. I'll let you know in a few days. I said, well, I gotta work. You know, so we'll just go out the other way. The other way, you know, well, why didn't you take it out the other way? I said, because the other way is steep and it's frozen it's like a glacier going down over that thing so i really didn't want to kill every a, a, anybody and wreck a truck but it's just amazing to me how petty people are not everybody most people are good people but man miserable freaking people why it's like i didn't do any harm if anything i've improved the road we graded it up a little bit and ran it in i mean it is it was a shithole i mean it was it needed stone but now that it's frozen you know we cuffed it in flattened it out and now I can put some stone on it. It needs a little, maybe a piece of fabric and a couple of stone. It'll be a nice base, nice road. So whatever. Now I'm into this now. I'm going to see what happens with this. But it's just like... So anyway, I was just going to make a video. I started it. And phone rings. It's a state trooper. You know, and he's cool. He just said, yeah, I know. He says, the guy's miserable and blah, blah, blah. He's all jacked off. And I said, yeah, I'll stay out of there. I think... I actually think it's not. I don't think he's right. But... Whatever, I'm not gonna push the issue. We're gonna be done in a couple weeks. So I moved the back hill out there, moved, get a load of uh, anti skid at the bottom of the big hill. The boys are gonna clean it off and anti skid it so we can get the trucks out of there without destroying them. And I guess, better make up his mind soon because I'm not gonna pay him a thousand bucks for, you know, a few days that's left. I'll just buy another load of anti skid if I have to. Whatever. I don't know why people are gonna be so crabby. Crabby baddies. All right. Oh, the driver. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Ta-da.